Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, dealer bets. Three. <laughs> okay. Dealer three. And I'll see you. Six. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Alright, I'm in. Food. Hey Jeff, here are your garlic sticks. Oh, here's to Mother Nature's perfect food. Hey guys, look, a bonus. Awesome promotion. Give it. That's a seriously expensive watch. Dad? What? You're dead! Hardly. Someone tried to kill me. Hey, I'm Dick Darren. Tracy Grace. I want you and Tracy to take over my agency and run Darren Investigators. What do you know? Boy toys. Definitely not my kind of stuff. There's no electronic sets, no model kits. Click on the stuffed rabbit. It was my favorite, okay? <laughs> A series of robberies has hit the Rockwater area. Jewelry and precious gems are the targets. We've been retained by the Rockwater Retailers Association to find out who's behind the robberies and how the goods are being sold on the black market. How much merchandise is involved? Over half a million dollars so far. These are pros, so watch your backs. There you go, sir. Why give them to me? Because you asked for them. Well, like, do you really think I have the time to go through each and every file of each and every known jewelry thief and black marketeer? Uh, no, sir. Exactly. Research is your job. Management is mine. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. Working hard on the case? Working hard on the homework. The evil history. Ugh. Could be worse. Quadratic equation. I'll get us some coffee. Problem? Just digging your watch. Solid gold. Diamond encrusted. So, where'd you get it? Um, my dad gave it to me for my birthday. Nice dad. Seriously, where'd you get it? I told you. I got it from my dad. Thanks. That guy, he's got a watch exactly matching the one in Dad's case file. He could never afford that. Exactly. So I asked him where he got it, but he isn't talking. Where are you going? Nothing. Just a pizza joint. Now 
that service. Thanks. So, we agree this joint's worth checking out? I'm in. Sorry, bro. Dad said these guys are pros. I'll, I'll go, go undercover. undercover. Excuse me? Well, this could be dangerous. So? Tracy, in this circumstance, it would be best if a guy did this. Oh, right. Same guy who couldn't get an answer out of Jeff. Hi, good looking. What can I get you? Um, well, I was looking for work. Yeah. What kind of experience you got? Uh, I cook some. So do a lot of folks. Listen, sweetheart. It's, uh, it's Angela. Okay, Angela. You take it from me, Murray. You're far too pretty for a place like this. Oh, so that's how it is, eh, Murray? What, girl can't get a decent job these days? You, you think it's easy with a face like this? Huh? Guys hitting on you all the time? I don't even have two lousy nickels to rub together. It's war out there, Murray. Everybody's out for number one. Nobody cares anymore. My dad, he cared. Till they sent him up for three years. Your old man did time? It's a sad story, Murray. Listen, kid. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a shot. You start right now. You're all right. So where'd your old man do time? Rock. Alcatraz? No. Rock bottom municipal jail. <laughs> Waiting for his pizza. Sure. Getting a job has its advantages. Yeah, well, two other shifty types showed up while I was at work. Murray delivered their pizza before they even got in the door. I suggest we set up a DVT across the street and see who shows up. I suggest that next time we add black olives and pineapple. I just spoke to the Rockwater Retailers Association. They support our efforts 100%. That's my report. What's yours? Well, I checked through all those files that like you told me. Yeah, yeah. Cross-checked every detail with every other detail against a reconstructed crime grid. Yeah, yeah. Extrapolated all the basic information from 2,000 files and plotted them against a precise chronology. And? And I'm still not done. That's my report. BYM713. Cute. Warning! Aunt Claire, switching to alternate mode. So, any email for me? Check the box. It's from the nice one. Let's hear it for internet dating. I see no need to wait any longer. I think it's time we actually met. He's gotta be kidding. Go ahead. Tell the dude yes. Well, we've exchanged a half dozen emails. You don't think it's rushing things. Tell him yes. All right. Back to the license plates. Hey, 
Angela, you can go now. I'm closing early. Thanks, Murray. Uh, I'd like to order a pizza. I'm closed. Come on, just one slice. Sorry. Um, hey, you ever thought of rolling Murray's out as a franchise? What? Well, you know, one store becomes 50, an investment of 50,000 becomes 5 million. You can do that? Yeah, it's simple. Let me explain. So, say some guy wants to open a Murray's Pizza, right? You become the franchisor and he becomes the franchisee. Got it? Yeah, so then what? Now, the franchisee gets a license from you, the franchisor, who in turn holds a trademark's license to him, an arm's length by a third party. Right, yeah. Now, if the franchisee fails for any reason to live up to the expectations of you, the franchisor, then the franchisee is held accountable to the third party trademark holder, which protects you. Got it? I'll tell you what I got. I got you wasting my time. Now get out of here! She, why isn't she called? Her DBT's activated, so that's not the problem. What strength? Normal levels. Well, boost it all the way. Why? Well, maybe something's blocking the signal. Bobby! Look, is anyone there? Tracy, where are you? I'm locked in the storage room at Murray's Pizza. Well, we'll call the police. No! That'll blow my cover. That's crazy. You can't stay there all night. Look, if it were you, would you tough it out? Look, I'm stuck here until 6 a.m. That's when the cleaning staff arrive. I'm going to bed. Good night, Bobby. Hang in there. Well, it looks like you're stuck with me for a while. Well, you're better company than the sacks of flour. Yeah, I hope so. So, I guess this is the part of the movie where the hero talks his best buddy through it? It's a sweet thought, Dick. <laughs> How's that for brotherly love? <laughs> so, Bobby could never get to sleep without me reading him a bedtime story. That's really cute. Yeah. Well, my parents didn't think so because I only read him ghost stories, which got him so scared he couldn't fall asleep. <laughs> then I got in more trouble with my dad. Well, you know what I think? I think there's a part of you that you never let anyone see. Oh yeah, and what part is that? The part that loves stuffed rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> I always felt isolated. Even, even among my friends, I... It's funny how you can be so involved and yet feel so alone. Yeah, I never felt alone. Until Mom got sick. Now Dad. It's all just... I know.
What's that? It's the cleaners. I'm out of here. Help but notice you are having trouble. How would you know? Any data access program is monitored by me. <laughs> That's how your father set it up. <laughs> I'm trying to run this license plate through police files, but it won't access. No problem. You have the wrong phone number. Then what's the right one? Scrolling. Burn. Scrolling. Vern! Sir, I found something. What? Well, matching events against the crime grid, plotted in chronological sequence, and Taking into account all forensic... What? Willie Mango's back in town. Ah. Put a tail on it. Let's see who Mango's hanging out with these days. <laughs> Willie Mango? That's the dude. A car registered in his name shows up at Murray's Pizza every day. What, Fern helped you run his car through the police files? Yeah. Mango's been busted three times. He's a world-class fence. So, someone like him needs a local supplier. Okay, Bobby, we're in position. Roger that, bro. If license plate for him shows up, you're on. You want to meet girls? Go across the street to the singles bar. I wasn't doing anything. You keep flirting with my staff, you're out of here. Showtime, bro. Copy that. Very hungry today. Bureau on this joint. You're out of here! Wally. Good to see you, Will. Where's my pizza? Here you are, Wally. Pizza, Lieutenant. On the house. One oh, slice. One slice of deluxe. Nice to see you out and about, Willie. You like pizza? Yeah. I got a taste for it. In prison. <laughs> you wouldn't be doing any business here, would you, Willie? Go ahead. Search me. What's with the Lieutenant's pizza? Enjoy this, Lieutenant. 
Dig in, Lieutenant. A ruby. Now that's a topping I haven't tried. Half a million in gems and jewelry. And another quarter million in cash in those jars. I bet Murphy's still recovering from the shock. <laughs> Do you know who? Hi, guys. Great news about the pizza bust. Congratulations. Listen, sources tell me that the Chin Man is still hanging around your area. He must still think I'm alive. Why? Well, unless a real body goes into the ground, he won't buy my death. What are you saying? I'm gonna send you a corpse. What? what? Fake that it's mine. Give it a public burial. But whose body is it? I'll be in touch with the details. Good luck.